We're almost there. As soon as we get through this place, we'll come face to face with Father. Finally meeting the President. The day I will take over his office is finally here. It's so exciting, huh? The title of Netherworld's Strongest will soon be ours! And when she is defeated, Desko will become a final boss! The Netherworld President. The rumors about him in Celestia say that he's too good of a person to be a demon. I wish I could have completed my mission without having to fight him directly, so that I wouldn't make my Lady Archangel worry. The time has come! This regime will be overthrown sooner or later! That'll only be the beginning. It's going to require a lot of work to bring Hades to the Netherworld and human world. Isn't that right, Fe- Ludval, look out! That's a bit harsh. We just unleashed our best powers to respectfully greet Tyrant Valvatoris. No, no, no way! You, you are the Netherworld's ten overlords! All of the evil doing in this world is said to have been perpetuated by these ten demons! So it's ten of them this time? I hope there aren't gonna be like any presidents waiting for us after this. <laughs> you won't get any farther than this. Meow. Fenric, get a hold of yourself. You're not one to fall from those kinds of attacks. Stand up. And you call yourself my servant? Lord, I'm glad that you're safe. He won't last long. Meow. He took all of our attacks at once. I'm surprised he's still breathing. Meow. We'll at least give you time to say your goodbyes. We'll wait until he dies before we kill the rest of you. No! This isn't happening! Mr. Fenric is about to die! This can't! This, this is impossible! We're talking about Fen Fen here. He wouldn't die even if you killed him. He's not gonna die from this. Hey, wake up! Stop fooling around! Come on! Please calm down, everyone! We can cast healing magic on him for a temporary fix! Th there's no need! I know my body better than anyone! Ugh! Fenric! Lord, I'm glad that I was finally able to pay you back. Don't be ridiculous. I won't allow you to die here. Don't tell me you forgot the promise you made to the moon. And what about your promise to me? I'm sorry, Lord Val. Unfortunately, it seems that this Fenric will be unable to keep that promise. However, before I die, I have one favor to ask. Shut up. I'm not going to listen. I said you're not allowed to die here! Please, let me see your true form at last. Please, burn the image of your true form when you were feared as a tyrant into my mind. What the hell are you saying? How could I... Please, take my blood. What? That's utter nonsense. I am from the werewolf bloodline. A mixture of wolf and human. If you take my blood, you shall regain your power. At least for a while. Please, Lord Val. While I still live. 
Let me see your true form. Fenric, Lord Val. Have you forgotten, Fenric? Your master never breaks a promise. Ever. That being said, I shall not take your blood. Lord Val. So you're going to have to burn the image of this proud demon who never breaks his promises into your mind! I... see... You're an impossible demon, my lord. Meow? What? He just got up! Meow? Fenfen? If you're not going to take my blood, then I cannot let myself die here. Are you all right? I was pretty sure your wounds were fatal. <laughs> Don't even bother trying to kill me. Werewolves won't die for mere kitty demon attacks. The hell, man? We were really worried about you. I can't believe you trick your own allies. You're messed up, man. They do say that you must trick your allies to truly trick your enemies, but that was still mean. You made Desko cry! Again! Your attempts at making me drink blood have ended in failure, Fenric. I'll ask you about your true intentions later, but first! You're going to have to pay for underestimating my commitment to my beliefs. By defeating the Netherworld's ten overlords. Uh, I suppose that's fine. All is for my lord. Boy, Fen Fen sure picked the one stubborn master, didn't he? Alright. <laughs> Every time I think I get to the last level, there's always one one more to go. This is this is like American gladiators. This is quite the gauntlet here. We got a big menagerie of enemies. Um and seeing how the bouncer seems to be the primary enemy of here, I guess I'll just get him out of the way. I am s I really don't like the bouncer. <laughs> it's one of those stubborn units that just does doesn't die, and they're all over the place. Ten overlords and two legendary chests, if you care enough. Now remember, you can kill them and then take advantage of the of the uh, bonuses yourself once you get rid of them. Evade panels can be so annoying. Best chance of hitting an enemy is 49%. Can't stand it. All right, so let's get the bouncer out of the way. Oh yeah, have you guys been liking those um, those uh, skill exhibitions I've been making? I think they came out pretty well. I find myself watching them a lot just because admiring my own work. The artiste that I am. All right, let's do the bouncer. Get this asshole out of the way. I know. Ah, bless me. Fuck oh, there he is. All right, the bouncer. Bounces are a defensive class that helps to protect other characters while absorbing damage from enemies. This works in several ways. First, the bouncer is able to uh, take damage well, so they should stand in front of the group and attempt to draw enemy attention. They lure opponents into attacking and thus bring the enemies close enough for the rest of your party to thrash on sub subsequent turns. In addition, another typo, it's supposed to be in. Bouncer abilities raise the survivability of allies that are close by. This isn't enough to withstand late game damage, but it works very well in the early and mid game. False. They suck. Don't use them. Anyway. Um, they are proficient with fists and guns. In fact, outside of Fenric, they are the only class that can learn Big Bang with the fists. 
the last fist technique. So, unless you plan on leveling Fenric up to level 500, uh, make a tier 4 bouncer, which is the Netherworld SP, and that's how you learn Big Bang. Big Bang is essential for clearing Cave of Ordeals 4, which is the best grinding spot in the game, just so you know. I'll teach you a lesson! That's the only reason you should make a bouncer. Anyway. Here I come! They're, for a defensive class, they are they are 25% weak to fire and wind, and they are 50% uh, resistant to ice. At least they can move five spaces and throw five as well. Their base ability, official protection, adds 20% to the defense and resistance of adjacent enemies. That's not as much as it sounds. I think you're much better off with the, with an Alron, the flower monster class, which can heal you 20% every turn. And um, also increase your elemental resistances. That's far more useful if you ask me. The next ability, Sync Guard, decreases damage taken by adjacent allies by 10% when using defense. Do they mean defend? I don't even know anymore. Then there's Damage Shift. The bouncer takes 20% of the damage received by another unit in the same attack range. Uh, yeah, whatever. And then Deadly Support. Adds 20% to the stats of an adjacent ally when defeated, when defeated and lasts for three turns. I think this all sucks. It's a waste of a slot. Ugh, I don't even feel like explaining on elaborating that much why I don't like these guys. Okay, we got the Bouncer, the Bodyguard, the Problem Solver, the Netherworld SP, the Prom King, and the Destroyer. Uh, Bouncer's base aptitudes are HP 130, which is admittedly good. SP 70, Attack 110, Defense 110, Intelligence 70, Resistance 90, Hit 100, and Speed 110. Yeah, you see, my whole problem with this is, if you're gonna make a defensive unit, um, just make a Heavy Knight, or hell, even a, nin a Ninja, where, and you know, I, I, really, I don't care for Ninjas that much, but their abilities are far more useful. Um, you know, either 50% more defense when being attacked from the front, or 50% more evasion. Both are more useful than the Bouncer, who only helps other classes, not himself. Making him not that great, if you ask me. Uh, the Destroyer, the final level, has 155 HP aptitudes, uh, 80 SP, 135 attack, 135 defense, 80 intelligence, 100 res, 125 hit, and 135 speed. That's it. That's all there is to it. I really don't like this class. They just... They're annoying to fight because of their high HP, but... They're not going to benefit you much when you use them. Case closed. No, no, don't try and argue with me. I know what I'm talking about. I went to college. My degree was in this Gaia. Ugh. I'm one of those people who gets chronic headaches, and I'm suffering severely right now. Ooh. Well, I got through that really quickly, didn't I? You see, I think the main reason why I don't like this class is because the game uses them deliberately in such a fashion to piss me off. Like, they only stick them around other enemies to really increase the- Like, look at that Gargoyle. Gargoyles already have good defense. He's on a defense plus 50% panel, and he's standing next to two bouncers, so his defense and resistance are both increased by 40%. That's- basically, he takes half damage, at, at least. But when are you ever gonna benefit from that? Never. I mean, this is the kind of game where either you take little to no damage at all, so they're not needed, or you take so much damage that you're killed with millions of HP over. And again, they are not worth it. Sorry. Defense at a certain point becomes utterly useless. The only really useful uh, defensive stat is speed. Best to just avoid the attack entirely.
What panel is that chicken on? His name is a jar? <laughs> oh, attack plus one. That could be annoying. Just use Bombat Stick. Use the fire. Chocolate. Chocolate. How did I know she'd say that? Could it be the? Oh, see this. I hate this class. They just don't die. Mochi. There you go. Yeah, Comic Con is this weekend. Anybody else going? Uh, t the New York one. I live, I live in New Jersey, so just a train ride up. Of course, I didn't. I've never been to Comic Con before. Although I found out from my friends that it was this weekend, and well, I don't have a ticket yet, and they're sold out of the Saturday ones apparently. So me and my friend, who also doesn't have a ticket, we're just gonna go and see if we can't just get one from a scalper. See if the price is right. And if not, well, it's New York. We'll find something to do. else to talk about. Jesus. Should I just do another enemy class? I mean, this one takes so long to do. Fucking Hadrianus, if that is your real name. So if people are curious about where I currently am in the game, obviously, uh, I've had all the weapon skills. I've recently, um, defeated all the, all the, uh, character, all the extra battles outside of um, all the Pringer X, uh, the like eight version of Pringer X poison. I defeated the, I defeated the the one on one fight. It was a pretty good fight. Uh, it's really awesome when you see it. Um, a few of the, damn it, did I miss both of them? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I, I need to get some Advil. This is killing me. Ugh. Hopefully three Advil liquid gels ought to do it. We'll wait and see. This ain't gonna kill me either. Just watch. Ah, one of them. So I was half right game just can't let me win. Dual canine fists? Coming at ya. <laughs> wow, 34% chance of hitting. I didn't even notice that.
Get out of my house! Although I guess I'm, I'm in their HQ, so... That doesn't really make sense. They don't even move! So annoying! At least come to attack me so I can counter and kill you! Of course, they have to use fists as well, so their speed is decent. I can't believe... I hate the bouncer so much. Thank fucking god. Now I only have to fight six more! No, no, sorry! Eight more! Eight more. Jesus Christ on crack. I can't lure them towards me. Nope, nope, they're morons. I don't think they're allowed to leave those spaces. Here I go. Yay. So, rather than just, uh, stampede towards them, I'm just taking time to properly heal, boost my stats, make sure I can do this as quickly as possible, efficiently as possible. That's weird. Why did I charge for ice if they're all weak to wind? I did not think that one through. Did I have a headache when I recorded this initially as well? for the bonus gauge. Alright, now I'm ready to take these guys on. Again with the shoe trick. Evade panel, so this could be annoying.
Oh, wow. I'm actually impressed. I think that was a Nick. <laughs> Suck at evasion panel. Oh, he actually moved. Now he's not protected anymore. Here I come. Yeah. I'm going for a foursome. Oh, Luminaire, you're so naughty. Soften him up. There. I'll show you. There we go. Enough of the stupid ass bouncers. Damn it. That was just odd. How often is that the case? Here I come. All right, let's end this, please. I should do a full-powered Desco. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. That works too. Of course, having that item be legendary means nothing.
Worthless. There's no point in getting a legendary item. You want legendary equipment. All right, let's let's end this. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't say as much this time. This just this headache is just killing me, and I don't want to put out new content if I can help it. Next one will be better. All right. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We defeated the ten overlords! It's just one step closer to the president's office! Oh, Ma, God! This is seriously getting serious! Desko will finally become a girl who can proudly refer to herself as a final boss! I'm not as ecstatic as them. You better explain yourself now, Fenric. Why did you try to trick me into drinking your blood? Going so far as to fake your own death! It's a simple answer, my lord. To allow you to gain your full power back before our battle with the president. It would have killed two birds with one stone. I would have paid you back for saving my life, but your strong beliefs won out again. Huh. Attempting to deceive your own master at such a serious time? You mustn't belittle yourself, my servant. I shall take your words to heart. All is for my lord. Miss Despo, did you hear that? He said something about being saved by his lord in the past. Now I'm really curious. Desko is curious too, Big Sis. Desko wishes they will tell us the story in more detail. But they won't just come out and tell us about it, you know? Oh, hello, Miss Volcanus. Are you interested in the story as well? Well, of course. I'm interested in anything that relates to the relationship between these two gentlemen. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. It's so interesting, right? Then shall I assume that the three of us agreed to work together to get to the bottom of this? Oh. <laughs> You're so bad, Miss Volcanus. <laughs> the, the, the bad to the bone. <laughs> oh, please. I'm not as bad as you two ladies. <laughs> they just formed a gossip circle. Women are scary. But wait, this isn't the time to be having fun, is it? We're about to head into battle against the president. <laughs>